Hi guys, I'm with Cowtown USA and this is our annual gigging tournament here at the Jerome Access and uh, this whole uh, boat ramp got completely wiped out this last year and we were kind of concerned that we weren't be going to be able to have our exciting gigging tournament but uh, sure enough we've got a brand new ramp here and we've got a lot of giggers coming out and this is just going to be one awesome great time for the family uh, it's supposed to get really cold and snowy and icy tonight but we've still got a lot of boats coming out and uh, this is just a good night for our Legend SS jet boating gigging tournament and uh, we're real proud to uh, be, uh, be with uh, outdoor television here and really excited. Yeah, this is Austin, and uh, I don't know if you can see it here, but he's brought his bow. Uh, this this is what's so exciting about this gigging tournament, is that not only can you use the, uh, well, how long are the, the gigging poles? Um, about 15, 20 foot. Yeah, 15 or 20 foot, and they've, they've got these sweet gigs on the end of them. And then also, too, is to be able to use this really nice setup. Can you tell us anything about this? Uh, it's a PSE Wave, um, has the AMS reel on it. Um, it's just real common sport. It's getting up there big, real fun. Um, I mean, it's just like bow fishing, but for fish. That'll be sweet. I hope we can get some get some shots of you shooting some fish with that. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Austin. Thank you. Getting psyched up for our annual Legend SS gigging tournament. Pretty awesome. Getting pretty cold. <laughs> You'll enjoy it. Hopefully we'll get a lot of boats. The weather's not scared at all. We sure had a lot of phone calls on it, I'll tell you. So. <laughs> Make sure you yeah. Oh yeah.
Okay, Rick, what's your best gigging story? My best gigging story? Your best gigging story. I fell out one night. And if you're going to gig, you're probably going to fall out. But I wasn't the one gigging. I was sitting in the back seat. And I had no idea how I did that, but I was sitting in the folding seat and had my hands cuffed around it. And the next thing I knew, I was flipped out upside down. But I was too scared to let go of the seat. So I was upside down. My uncle had a hold of the, of the, of the seat leg trying to pull the chair back in, and I'm too scared, so I'm hanging on to the seat upside down this water. I'm about drowning before I finally turned loose. <laughs> Got kicked around. Come back out, oh, it was cold. I mean, the, the, just like tonight, the water's gonna be freezing uh, on the gig poles and on the decks and stuff. And, and I mean, we pulled up, I had to build a big fire and pull all my clothes off. And I thought I was gonna freeze to death, sure, but I didn't. I didn't. My teeth got a little longer since that event, but I'm still around, I'm telling you. But that was quite a deal. Yeah, my Uncle Dan from down at Bunker reached down and pulled, finally shook me off the chair and pulled the chair back in and pulled me back in. But that's just one of the stories. That's the thing about gigging. You hear all kinds of these stories. And every family here that's been doing it very long will have a story like that or better. You know, that, and that's part of the reason we do it. Everybody just get around and get together tell the stories and, and live this Ozark tradition. Well, it must have had an impact on him when he was a kid because I don't know if you can get the camera on it right behind his uh, wonderful Jeep there. He's come out with the Legend SS uh, wonderful gigging boat right there. Beautiful semi-V. It's a, just a great boat with a lifetime warranty. Got an Evinrude motor on the back with a six year warranty right now. So, you know, we started this thing when I was a kid. Uh, you know, we grew up poor and uh, my, I had three uncles went together and they, they bought a 24 foot wooden John boat. You, you go back and you'll see some of this stuff in the old traditions, uh, and this was on the Kurt River. And they, they scrounged enough money up and they bought them a, a brand new Everu motor. This is back in the 60s. And at that point, my mom was, uh, one of the youngest girls out of 12, and and uh, the brothers would share the boat. And we'd get out and with, with, the, with I forget how many grandkids, probably close to 100 grandkids. There's all kinds, there's grandkids. Every rock you turn over, grandkids turn out I mean, you figure 12 brothers and sisters, there's a lot of grandkids. And we'd get together and pile in that old wooden boat. And then they'd pile, nobody had tents, but they had tarps, tarpaulins, I guess you'd call them. And they'd take these tarpaulins and all the food, and we'd pile in this. You know, nobody would dream about doing something like that. They, they would never do that primitive stuff, you know? But that's what we did, and that's what my, that's, you know, we, I'd sleep out on the gravel bars there on the current river without a tent, sleep under the stars. And I was probably a dozen years old, something like that. And uh, I'm probably younger than that. We grow up, and we grew up doing it. With some of my Good, greatest clean, memories. Fun. Uh, some of my greatest memories are on the gravel bar there in the Current River. Oh yeah. And would be gigging and and fishing and, and just uh, enjoying each other, enjoying family. And that's you know that's a lot of the reason we do this tournament. It brings out a lot of friends, a lot of family that come out, and a lot of memories. I hope there's not too much lying going on, but. I know some of these boys pretty good, and they stretch the truth pretty good. So we're really excited. Yeah. Yeah, this is our Legend SS uh, river jet boat. We're really proud of it. I don't know if you can see it right here at nighttime, but this is over 30 inches of weld right here where the, this is called the transom. This is the gusset, the gusset right here and the gunnel rails. This is the gunnel, the gusset, the transom. Right here, it's got a 30 inch weld and what would happen is that uh, Cowtown USA, when it first started out, they would fix boats and they noticed that the transoms were broken and where, where the gussets would literally crack just because the, the 
the boat could not even handle having an outboard engine on the back of the boat because aluminum boats being so rigid just couldn't handle the pressure. So what we've done is we've made a, one of the only aluminum John boats that has a lifetime guarantee on it. And the way we do that is, so we've got a hundred gauge aluminum, we've got these, these uh, extra thick gunnel rails. Most gunnel rails on aluminum boats are just the size of your thumb. Ours are the size of your wrist. And uh, don't want to take your camera out here. But if you look down in here, you see three beefy braces right here. I mean, those are, those are huge. And uh, you can't see all of it here, but you can sure see that it's built like a tank. But this has longitudinal bracing and latitudinal bracing, meaning that it goes bracing this way and bracing that way. And what that means is that on a lot of aluminum boats, the, the, the cheaper built boats, they actually get cavitation marks because of the water. And we don't have that. And uh, you can see here, just in every part of the construction, that it's just a really strong boat. We've actually engineered the transom also too, so that it doesn't have to take a, uh, a shim or a whale's tail on the jet. And this is a really neat feature of the boat. Is that, and it has been cold, so these are froze here. But right here, you've got this nice divided aerated live well real nice and deep so great feature of the boat and uh, these seats we're pretty proud of these are handmade sewn and embroidered by a man in uh, st. James Missouri does a great job and on this uh, on the BRP controls you don't even have to get this engine serviced but once every three years because they're making them so good nowadays that on the Evinrude motor, it only needs one service after three years, and then every three years following, and two, if you kick this lever up and start it, the motor will actually winterize itself. After two and a half minutes, shut down, you can put it to bed. You can use this boat all year long. I mean, that's one of the best features about this. And I'm gonna car the scale here. Yep. The water is so murky. Under the nothing. Yep, put them all in the bag and we'll separate out some of them. Yeah, you gotta pick them. That door's up there right now. And it weighs 1.73. I ain't gonna wait to see what it is. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see if it screwed up. Go ahead. I'll let you get away with that one. Oh, good choice. 154. <laughs> wow. And right now you guys are in first. You guys want a couple three. What's your boat number, boat six? Well, let me let me confer here and make sure. Go ahead and put your bag in. Go ahead, wait a minute. Yeah, you're clear. Go ahead and set your bag on very gently. Oh, this is just for go. your sake. For prize Let's money. see what you guys got. Are you Landon Johnson yes. teams? Yes. Okay. 6.36. Your boat six? Right? 6.36. Now pick out your biggest fish. Yeah. Don't weigh him separately. He's always a little bigger. Thank you. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Alright. What's your big one? Put it in here. Good man. And you're weighing 1.61. What's your name? Levi, did you get that one? No. You sure? <laughs> You're on TV, you might as well say you did. <laughs> wow. You got them, we gotta give them that back. Yeah, we're good. Good. Which right. boat? Number five. What do you got there? Five. Are you Chaz? No. Adam? Adam? We are Austin. Okay. 5.28 pounds. When they get the big fish. Boy, <laughs> you know anybody who comes out, does this, shows it's so serious, that's how we do it. 
Guys, thank you. We appreciate y'all. I mean, y'all come out such a nice night. These other boys, bunch of sissies, couldn't show up. Well, where's third place at? Yeah. Who is this? Right. <laughs> Smart one, the qualification being here. Uh, boat number three, Landon Johnson and his crew, come on forward. Uh, boat six? Boat six, I mean, I'm sorry. You're third place. Boat six is third place. Cool, here, let's take your pictures. <laughs> Come right over here. Guys, come right over here. Okay. Go ahead and tell them we need the money. your name and where you're from. There's the money. <laughs> okay. I'm Landon Johnson. I'm from Lynchburg, Missouri, and this is my son, Levi. Mike yeah, Williams Levi. from Lynchburg, Missouri. Woo! All right. Yeah. There you are, buddy. There's the money. Woo. Congratulations. I got more pictures to take. Go back to money. We get a picture for the Facebook here. Hey, how does Clay say he's got it? Alright, got that one. Congratulations, Thanks, guys. guys. Hope you Great play. Good job, guys. Good. What was their weight? What was the weight? Uh, let's see here. 6.36 pounds, and on the big fish that, that they got was uh, 1.61. And that was third place. And that was third place. Okay, boat number eight is in the second place, which is Clay's Baron and uh, <laughs> Billy Martin and Aaron Cisco. Come on forward. Good job, guys. Good job. These boys come down down our Springfield. They come a long way. There you go. Congratulations. Okay, what was their weight? Uh, let's see here. Their weight was 6.41 pounds, and then the big fish that they had was 1.35. Good job, guys. Good job. All the way to Springfield. I got this. Yes, sir. All right, this is a big one. First Okay guys, uh, just for your information, the biggest cash pot for this was on the big fish and then also for first place winnings. And the people that got first place is boat number four, Jason Martin and Cody. Come on down. Come on. So, and uh, yeah, they won with uh, combined weight here of 6.92 pounds for their five fish, and then their big fish was 1.73, which gave them first place in both categories, which is why they get this 
big stack of money right here that I'll let request that on a good job, guys. Where y'all from? Thank you for coming. All the way from Houston, Missouri. Houston, Missouri. Nice job, Houston. Now here's what we're going to do. We've not done this before. We bought a flat screen television. And what we're going to do is everybody's name is put in a pot. So somebody, everybody here that's got their name in this is going to have a chance to win. So we're going to pull this name out. How are you going to do this, Eric? I was just trying to think of how I'm going to do this. <laughs> uh, we'll get her done. Press pause on the video camera. Yep, I was gonna just get that. Here's another piece of paper, guys. Just please only put your name in once. Yeah, and you had to be in the tournament. To do no, no, you didn't. Oh, you didn't. Anybody here? Anybody here? Okay. And good. And before you guys get in here, we'll get pictures of you guys too. I'm gonna try to get a crew picture. That's right. We're gonna go Put your name. Put your name. But you just told me to put your name in. Uh, Are you going to put your name in? Uh, well. <laughs> Does it say Aaron Jeffers? It says Reba. 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 Reba, you said you never win that. Come on down, Reba. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Woohoo! Everybody, give her a hand. Here you go, Reba. Now I'm turning it. Will help you. Billy, grab that thing for her. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, I don't like my picture. She's worth it. Ah. Thank you. Way to go. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Appreciate it. Congratulations. It was 10 degrees, and I stuck that hog sucker, and I got my foot, and I had to chew my foot off. No, I'm just kidding. No, you weren't, but I got it. <laughs>